Conference are a real hotbed uh, for Lyme disease. So this is a very important and also a personal debate uh, for myself and uh, members in my riding. I've been talking about the need for the government to get serious about Lyme disease since I first rose in the legislature on November 23, 2011 with a petition. And in the three years since, I and many of my colleagues have tabled numerous petitions representing our constituents right across the province. So the call for a comprehensive Lyme disease strategy isn't new for us. But what's frustrating for members and their constituents whose lives have been devastated by the disease is those calls have fallen on deaf ears. Uh, the current and former Minister of Health and Long-Term Care basically gave me a pat on the head uh, with their petition responses and told me that everything was okay. If they'd listened to the constituents who've written to them, they'd realize everything isn't okay. The reality when it comes to Lyme is things are getting worse, not better. And Ontario must start treating it like a serious disease by developing the comprehensive approach that the member is talking about in this motion for testing, diagnosing, treating and preventing Lyme disease. So I applaud them uh, for putting this motion on the floor today. In Minister Hoskins' response to the petition I tabled on July 7th, he notes the number of Lyme disease cases in Ontario is fairly stable. The reason for this is evident if he actually read the petition. The testing protocol in Ontario doesn't work. The result is that people that have the disease, because we lack the adequate test, they don't show up in the statistics. And what's worse, they can't get the treatment. In a member statement I made earlier this year, I spoke about one of my constituents, Karen Brown, whose horrible experience having been bitten by a tick in her Mallory town, near her Mallory Town home in 2013 really sums up to me what's everything wrong with our present system. She had two tests for the, disease, for the disease and they both came back negative because OHIP won't cover the most accurate test. So instead of starting treatment, Karen is told to go get another test. Meanwhile, Lyme disease takes a stronger hold on her body and her prospects for recovery if she ever starts treatment lessen. It's a vicious circle that too many Ontarians watching the debate today uh, can relate to. And you know, look, I, I don't want the government to, uh, I don't want to stand here today and slam the government. Uh, I, I want to make sure that the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care actually admits that there is a problem and to do something about it. It's not always an admission of failure to say our system can do better. But it becomes one when you ignore the reality all around you and allow the disease to continue to ruin people's lives. It should be unacceptable to our Minister of Health, who is a doctor, to see Ontario falling behind other provinces and the federal government online. <laughs> we can do better, and it's past time that we did. Thank you, Speaker. Thank the member from Leeds-Grenville. Further debate, the member from Windsor-Decumson. Thank you, Speaker. It's always 